Hi, this is Saurabh from Seas Homes and in this video, I am going to explain you about the overall LGSF system, the load mechanism and different components of uh, LGSF system and how it works. We are into design, manufacture and construction of LGSF system that stands for light gates steel framing system. Right now, I am standing at one of our villa project site at Pune. Now you can see the most of the uh, erection work is completed. Now LGSF stands for light gate steel framing where uh, the system is essentially a load bearing system and the walls, the roof and the joist everything is made up of cold foam steel structure which is manufactured in one of our manufacturing facility uh, at Satara. So this steel is manufactured using a fully automatic CNC machine where each and every component precisely manufactured as per the structural requirement. It's like a Lego game where the different different comp components are assembled together and joined using the different connectors and the screws. So LGSF structures consist of two parts, walls and the roof. So walls, we have a different types of walls like load bearing walls, non load bearing walls and the shear walls. And for the roof also, uh, as per the requirements, it's accessible uh, roof or non accessible roof, we design it. So the process is very simple. We design the structure using structural softwares and see the structural uh, requirements and we design the sections and after that we do uh, the detailed BIM modeling and then we send the file to the manufacturer manufacturing and once the steel is manufactured it's brought to the site and assembled together and then erected as per the structural drawings wall system we have uh, studs the noggings bottom track and top track as a components each components as I mentioned is manufactured through auto fully automatic uh, machines using roll forming mechanism uh, all these components are joined together using the screws and the walls is assembled so this typically the wall only carries the load so you can see uh, the roofing members will be rested, rested on the wall panels and the wall through the studs the load is transferred to the foundation so that's how the mechanism works for the roofing system if it's non-accessible roof then we have a truss system we have a joist system as per the architectural requirements and accordingly we just fix it on top of our wall system using special types of connectors and those uh, joists and trusses transfers the load to the walls and then walls transfer it to the foundations. So that's a simple load uh, transfer mechanism in LGSF system. You can see here uh, in LGSF system there are number of walls uh, are there and each wall is connected with other so because of this the structural strength the stability and the integrity is really good uh, in conditions like uh, cyclones or the in seismic conditions these structures holds together like a mesh and because of that uh, structure remains stable in any adverse condition in LGS system the steel that we use is a light gaze that means uh, it has a higher load to weight ratio means it carries a higher load but the own self weight is quite less compared to the conventional system so uh, the advantage in this system as for the typical any construction the overall steel consumption is less compared to the uh, conventional HR prefabricated system uh, this advantage uh, is really useful when you are doing uh, house extension on existing uh, structure then the overall weight of the structure is quite less just to show you how light this uh, LGSF system is I have in my hand the one of the roofing uh, joist and I can just lift this with my single hand so this much light the system is but at the same time this can carry a load up to a 80 to 90 kg uh, person a lot of people have a concern regarding the architectural freedom uh, and uh, is it possible what are the possibilities with the LGSF system so one of the example is like there is no as such a restrictions of how much big openings we can provide in in our system so you can see it's a large opening also uh, we can uh, put in our system using uh, header and lintel system uh, another important thing uh, about LGSF thing LGSF system is you can actually achieve any bigger span uh, in your room there is no as such restriction here as well LGSF basically first of all designed uh, structurally viability is being checked and then the structure is manufactured so for any kind of span uh, is possible using LGSF system we want 20 25 feet uh, span st structures also we have done earlier light gauge steel framing system is a load bearing wall system so there is no column beam involved so good part is like you don't get 
create a beam or column offset in your structures so effective carpet area is a little bit more than the conventional uh, system uh, as this system is a load bearing system the load is basically distributed evenly and uh, there is no at such a concentrated load at one single point the load is distributed uh, along the length of the wall so this wall is connected to the substructure or foundations using this uh, fastness which are spaced at uh, 600 or 400 mm intervals so they are very closely uh, spaced connectors which are uh, uh, connected to the foundation the wall is cladded with our proprietary uh, concrete panels uh, you can see here the concrete panels which are uh, manufactured in our facility itself these panels will be fixed to the steel frame using uh, sds screws uh, from both the sides and we then lay the electrical and plumbing conduits and whatever the gaps that we see uh, between these two concrete panels which later then filled with uh, insulation material either with uh, uh, rock wool insulation or our uh, foam concrete uh, material so once we use the foam concrete material it becomes a monolithic kind of system just like a typical my one system and these uh, panels act as a sacrificial uh, shuttering a lot of people ask the question that this is a whole a steel structure so there will be a, a temperature high temperature inside the room but actually it's opposite to that because as we use the insulation materials in the walls in the roof uh, in the slab so uh, it's actually opposite to what people think of so we can control the temperatures quite well inside uh, our house because we are using the insulation the acoustic performance of the uh, system is also uh, very good because uh, as we using the insulation insulation material they are acoustic insulated material as well so no uh, direct sound is transferred to the other room the foam concrete insulation that we use inside uh, the wall system has uh, small small air gaps inside it trapped inside the concrete so because of that the sound does not have a solid medium to pass from one one room to another room so we achieve a very good uh, sound insulation apart from that as we we are using uh, the concrete panels and the uh, foam concrete insulation uh, the fire air rating is also re really good for this uh, system uh, and third and most uh, important is uh, the thermal insulation so because of this small small air gaps uh, trapped inside the foam concrete you really get a good performance in thermal insulations as well so here the good part of the lgsf system is that uh, as, as I mentioned, the studs and the noggings and the channels are manufactured fully automatically uh, using CNC machine. So it precisely positions the uh, screws and the cut where we have to embed the nogging systems, uh, the K bracing system. So on-site activities like the cutting, welding is fully avoided. Everything is pre-cut through the machine. The screw position is decided, it's fixed. Even this particular stud will fix here only. It will not fix anywhere else because it has a, a project code number also. It has a numbering of the uh, 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 stud also. So because of that, it's like a Lego game. We just have to fix the stud at particular location only as per the drawing and your wall and your structure will, will be ready uh, wherever there is a heavy loads coming on the structures we have a, a column kind of system which is done using multiple uh, wall sections combined together with the connectors and uh, these uh, jams or these uh, column structures will take care of the heavy loads wherever required apart from that whenever uh, uh, any structure is being erected or any structure is being designed it is designed for the wind load and seismic load as well for for that we we provide the shear wall system in our structures so we have a bracing system which will withstand the uh, lateral loads on the structure for example this is a k bracing system which is given at the edge at the corner of the structure so that it can withstand any kind of uh, lateral forces coming in another beauty of the lgsf system is that uh, for all the kind of services like the electrical and the permit plumbing services we we uh, the, uh, the machine automatically gives the punching holes here through which we can uh, run our services like the electrical conduits or plumbing conduits so no uh, conventional way of uh, uh, methodology is used here 
uh, avoiding lots of uh, uh, manual intervention and uh, laborious job of doing the conducting so electrical and plumbing job is very easy in lg subsystem uh, because uh, even even after the construction even if you want to change the electrical points from here to there it is very easy job you just have to remove the panels and change it because all the uh, serv uh, all the service holes are provided at uh, desired locations as per the drawings